Breaking news or something you already knew? Head coach Chip Kelly has officially named Michael Vick as his week one starter against the Washington Redskins on Monday Night Football where the much anticipated return of RG3 to the gridiron will commence. It was a hell of a battle for the starting job in Philadelphia. Nick Foles fought valiantly, performed well, and showed the propensity to run Chip Kelly's high-powered, fast-paced offense. He could even run the ball a little bit, but Michael Vick was phenomenal, not only in the preseason games, but in practice. He led the team down the field. He had a better yards per play average than Foles. He had a little bit more of a higher completion percentage, and he got into the end zone without turning the ball over. I think what did Nick Foles in is what did Vic in last year, and that was he had a couple turnovers and he even dropped the ball and then recovered it himself a couple times. Now that doesn't rule Nick Foles out forever because we all know Michael Vick is injury prone. He came into camp with 10 extra pounds of muscle. Hopefully that'll help, but I didn't see any auspicious signs as far as Michael Vick learning the slide. Whenever he sees that goal line or first down marker, he tends to go head first and go for it instead of living to see another day. That's the only thing I'm concerned with. If Michael Vick could have his second 16 game season, the first one since 2006, there's no stopping this Philadelphia Eagles offense. So congratulations to Michael Vick who came into camp with his old speed back beating LaShawn McCoy in a 40 yard dash earlier in the summer. Had a renewed focus and really picked up this offense of Chip Kelly in a big way. In other NFL news, Kansas City Chiefs made another trade with the San Francisco 49ers. We remember Alex Smith coming over earlier in the offseason. Now the Chiefs return the favor by sending Joe Baldwin, a promising large receiver, over to San Francisco and Jim Harbaugh. Crabtree went down. They do have Anquan Bolden over there, but they need some help at receiver, and they got it with Joe Baldwin. Joe Baldwin also has better hands than the receiver Kansas City is getting back in return, A.J. Jenkins. Now, A.J. Jenkins has more speed, and Andy Reid loves those smaller, faster guys. Back in Philadelphia, he had drafted both Jeremy Macklin and Deshaun Jackson. So it's clear the kind of receiver Reed likes to work with. And he's got Dwayne Bow, who's got a little bit of length in him. So they should be fine over there in Kansas City. And Andy Reed is good with working with receivers as well as quarterbacks. So will Joe Baldwin help take some pressure off of Colin Kaepernick over there in San Francisco? That remains to be seen. But the big news on the in the day, Michael Vick, officially the starting quarterback, Heading into Monday Night Football, save everything goes well in the third preseason game, and no injuries are accrued. Speaking of injuries, Kirk Cousins got hurt for the Washington Redskins last night on Monday Night Football in a scrimmage, or in a preseason game. He hurt his hand. That doesn't. The X-ray came back negative. There's no fracture. He should be day to day. But of course, RG3 is going to make his debut against Michael Vick two guys with renewed vigor on Monday Night Football. Be there.